Hello, World of Tank Blizzards. It's Littlefinger. Hey, it has been a hot minute since I last did a full tank review. Um, you guys have asked for it. You know, it's not easy to get these put together. There's a lot of editing and a lot of playing and, and all of this that goes into it. So I would ask on, on your part, if you aren't already, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment or a like and help this video get more viewers. Um, that really helps me out. So if you look at the AMX, and okay, so why am I doing it? Well, it's the newest French medium line. Um, I didn't have this tank, so starting from scratch with this tank, I just felt like, you know, this is a good way to learn the tank and can tell you guys about my experience with it. And obviously one of the things that you can see off the bat, this thing is small. We'll put this next to the Panther, uh, even the VK. This is a small tank and you can use that to your advantage and I'll show you how in some gameplay a little bit later on but uh let's go ahead and pull this up so here it is coming off the amx 12t to the amx 13. um now one of the things that i have done recently obviously since i own you know just about all of the tanks in the game i would just immediately use free xp go all the way up to tier 10 and, and play those and then work my way backwards i'm going to do the opposite here and I'm going to play this tank um, kind of the way you guys pretty much have to play the tank with, with one exception here as we look at the equipment on this tank. So I used XP from the AMX 12T. We didn't use any free XP. The only place I used free XP was to increase the gun and the engine and the tracks. Okay. Um, there's not a whole lot of difference between the two guns. It works out to be about 100 damage per minute. Um, you know, you can see here, it does drop down a little bit with your pen and a fairly uh, significant amount there with your damage number. So you'll quickly want to get the gun first. You can probably play it without the engine or the tracks. Um, but I will say this, this tank does, uh, d does play a little bit slower um, than you might expect for its size. So let's just run through the... It's the setup that I have, repair kit, multi-purpose, and the engine power boost. Of course, with this being an auto loader, there is no option for the adrenaline. Provisions, I'm running the, the coffee and croissant, uh, the protective kit, and the canned pate. Ammo, you know, only running 10, um, the APCR here seems to do pretty well. When you get into those tier eight battles, you know, you might want to drop this down I'm um, trying to keep this in increments of two because that is your two shell auto loader there. Um, and then as far as the equipment goes, uh, so I decided to run the calibrated shell. It's going to give you a little bit more pen. Um, one of the things, depending upon your play style, um, I might recommend the improved modules mainly because of this minus 40% damage when rammed. Um, that, you know, it can be tempting for other tanks seeing you as such a small tank to, to get those rams in. Um, but as you see in my gameplay, I am very careful in this tank and um, trying to keep my distance. Um, so that is why I decided to run the defense system, the improved optics. Um, you've got the option here of the enhanced gun lane drive, which is going to get your aim time down to 3.2. Um, but as I mentioned, I'm keeping this tank a little bit more at a distance, giving myself more time to aim. Therefore, the supercharger works better for me because I get that extra shell velocity and I don't lose that pen over distance as much. So uh, that is why I run that. If you're going to be more aggressive in this tank, um, you know, you're going to be shooting on the move. Um, you know, you may want to en use the enhanced gain gun lane drive if you're, you know, if you're if you're closer um, and you quickly stop, you want that aim time to get in there as fast as possible. Um, I'm running the improved assembly. Obviously, there's not much armor on this tank to talk about. So uh, the improved assembly really is the only way to go. Engine accelerator is the only way to go here as well. Uh, the vertical stabilizer, this is obviously something for shooting on the move versus the refined gun. You'll see in, in my gameplay, I don't have too, too much issues with the gun missing other than my poor aiming skills. Um, but so that's why I run the vertical stabilizer. So if I do need to shoot on the move, there's a higher chance of me hitting those enhanced tracks 
and the consumable delivery system. So I did want to point out just real quick, since I had mentioned that, you know, I only use free XP uh, to upgrade the, the engine and the turret and the tracks, um, but it took me about 20 battles in order to get the XP in order to get the next tier tank unlocked. So not a whole lot of investment there in order to get those. And I think that, I'll, I mean, I don't want to get on a soapbox here, certainly a downside to Blitz in its current form with all of the 4X, 5Xs out there. It certainly makes it a lot easier for you guys to, to get up and work your way up to the higher tiers, which um, have, you know, being a player for so long, I, I really do think people need to stay at lower tiers and learn the game a little bit better. But, you know, you can see here enemies destroyed 30 compared to being killed in 11 of those 22 battles. So that right there tells you, you know, 50% of my battles, I managed to stay alive the entire game. So um, as you can see, I am not overly aggressive in this tank. All right, guys, so one of the things I like to do on my full tank reviews is take a look at Armor Inspector. Go to wotinspector.com, use your uh, login information for Blitz, and uh, you should be able to pull this up. It's just a small fee to join, but highly, highly recommend it. Um, but as you can see here on the AMX 13, if we can get this to a high point where we're looking down upon the tanks that we want to be shooting at using that seven degrees of gun depression, the upper plate on this tank does start to turn red. As you can see, I've got this as a T44 shooting at the AMX. Um, which is a tier eight medium tank. Um, you know, so there's not a lot you can do as far as, you know, hiding the sides or anything like that. You've got to be a really such a sharp angle. Um, so, so really the best bet when playing this is to try to stay in a higher location, aiming down. Yeah, there are some weak spots on the turret. Not a lot you can really do there, but uh, one of those shots gets into the hole there. If you're, um, you know, aiming down, you've got a chance there to, to ricochet a few shots, keep yourself alive a little bit longer. All right, guys, so Mayan Ruins here is the first game. Uh, as you can see, tier seven, we are top tier here. Hopefully the, the three replays I've got, hopefully I'm not in the top tier in every one of them, but uh, I might be, I don't know. Um, anyway, what I really wanted to point out on this battle here is, uh, you know, Taking a look at um, your team's lineup, we've got two, they've got three mediums to two, to our two mediums here. So I really did not want to ex overexpose myself going to the right side of the map, especially when you look on the mini map here and you can see that everyone else except for uh, the Panther there, uh, the M10, went to the middle of the map. So I'm gonna play this a little bit more cautiously um, because I think there's a stronger chance here with three mediums that they may send several tanks here to the, to my right, uh, the med light side of the, the map. You can see the, the M10 here, he has relocated behind me and we're gonna get one shot into the Type 58. And the M10 now is, is behind me and there's a chance here that, uh, you know, we've got some tanks Pushing the middle, not everyone, you know, basically just this heavy tank and those two that I spotted have, have been identified on the map. They could still be coming around my right side here, so I don't want to get isolated in this tank. So as you can see, playing this really, really cautiously. So now we're getting some more spots on the heavy side and I'm um, going to go ahead and aim in on the lower plate here. And uh, that shot there is just aimed too low. That was my fault into the tracks. You know, that right there is just poor aiming. That has nothing to do with the gun. I just love it. We've got Annihilator sitting in the bush there. Um, trying to shoot the hatch there. That's not going to work. We're going to force a reload here. Just still trying to figure out what the play is. Uh, the, pan the M10 there has, has relocated behind me. Um, so, so we're going to go ahead and relocate. You can see they've got someone in cap. Uh, this is a very slow developing game. This does not happen. I mean, how many games have you played lately where it's been over by the five minute mark? Um, anyway, this one here is, is a little bit different. We've got the, the 122 coming through here. Can I get some shots on him? No, 
But, uh, you know, it looks like he's lost um, his patience, so he's rushing in across the map here. Uh, that's not going to work out well for him. But we're going to get one shot in. See if we can reload and get a second shot in. Yep. So we're going to leave him on a one shot. I'm not too worried about him, um, but it's amazing how long he does stay alive. I'm more worried right now about the cap. And as you can see, throughout this battle here, I have tried to, to stay as close as I can to some support, the Panther M10, um, knowing that it looks like my team has just been very passive, sitting in spawn, um, and the enemy team really has not, you can see that 122 still alive, the enemy team hasn't aggressively pushed into that position, standing here right in the, the opening here. So. Uh, we're gonna aim for the engine deck here and he's backed up and yeah auto aim really uh, the, Obviously my fault in aiming there, but you know that auto aim while he's backing up my aims going back too. so um, but Now I don't want to rush in just just yet um, You know because the AT8 and the Panther are on the other side of the map if I rush in, chances are two of those tanks could turn on me and I'm outnumbered here. So um, we're gonna go ahead and switch this to APCR and just guarantee the damage here. Cause this has turned out to be a little bit uh, closer battle than you know what I would like at this point. But I think at this point now we can move around and we can get some crossfire in on this M8. Um, yeah, he's, he's now frazzled. He's going to take a shot at us, but miss. Um, and now we can just work our reload and, and see if we can't finish him off. It's been a low damage. It's not a great high damage game, but one of the great things about this is we force a reload with uh, T29 here having 550 hit points left is, uh, you know, we have certainly done a good job of being in the right place. Um, and not allowing anyone really to take any easy open shots at us. And you can see here, we finished this game off and we didn't even take any damage whatsoever. So 2,200 damage there. Um, that puts us, yeah, top on the team in damage. Um, 860 XP there. All right, guys, so I've got another battle here to show. Uh, Yamato Harbor, yeah, we are top tier on this one again. Just sussing out their team. They've got two meds, three TDs. Um, so the, really, they could go either way on this. And, and one of the things I do want to point out is they've got two ATs. Um, I, I don't know how to say this, politely but um sometimes I, I i see people focusing on those ats just because they're there they're available to shoot um but honestly guys they are a little bit of a pain in the butt to you know to to try to fight against because they do have good armor um but because they are so slow it's just leave them where they are go clean up the rest of the other tanks and then go finish off the ats last um and i think that does portray itself in this in this game but you can see I am, again, being very, very patient here. Um, there's the AT-7. And we are just waiting for, for somebody to, to you know get some spots. We saw a couple tanks pull into the middle. There's the Eagle. Now they've got one in cap. And all right, so now we're going to start seeing some, uh, some tanks trying to cross over. We got a nice shot into the IS here. And uh, that shot just goes low. It was fully aimed in. And they are trying to c cross into our heavy spot. That SU can't see me from here. So we'll get one shot into him. Hazard, he's in the middle of the map and uh, probably not going to last too much long would be my guess. We get one more into the SU and we back down into safety. And all right, so now you've got the Hellcat here. As you can see off to my left, trying to fight that AT-7. Um, really, that guy in the, the AT in that position he's in, he's out of the fight. Just leave him there. Um, you know, it's going to take him half the battle to, to get over um, as we thread the needle there on a nice pre-aim shot. Um, you know, this guy is on the wrong side. Just leave him alone. Um, but I do want to try to help him out. Um, but I get a little bit distracted here with some easy targets. So um, 
go ahead and get a couple shots into the eagle. And unfortunately, I was expecting to take one, didn't really want to take that second one. And turns out uh, the Hellcat doesn't need any help after all. And as you can see, it's, it's two on two at the moment, so still a close match. Now we're down a tank. Um, so again, we'll get some, some additional damage in here. And we are down two tanks at this point in time. So this game is not looking good, but we are at 2,000 damage already. Uh, let's see how we can work this. And really at this point in time, I'm, I'm just looking for a way to... I'm thinking this game's probably a loss. I'm just trying to figure out a way to, to get my, my damage up. We've got an SU sitting in our spawn too. Um, and it looks like the other tanks are, are closing in on him. And uh, he gets a nice little shot in there even to get this one a little bit closer to even but um, you can see the tank does not a 55 kilometers per hour just take a, a second to get there but it does have some decent mobility and trying to get in here and, and help out our SU and keep him alive we really need that tank in the game um, coming up behind this guy there's a 225 and yeah we're gonna finish the SU off um, Tiger 131, and you can see the Eagle and the AT8 on the other side of the map. So we should be able to two on one the Tiger here. I've got some hit points to spare. The SU now is down to a one shot to anybody on their team. Get one in there, and probably at this point in time, you know, I figured maybe he'd back out. Uh, maybe I should force a reload. In hindsight, probably I should have. Um, but I really want to get um, this guy down to a two shot for me. We really get lucky here just to get that to go in. Don't want the SU to die. I really don't. So I'm trying to say don't do it. Um, you know, I'll take a shot and finish him off. I'll, we'll share some hit points at this point in time. And he gets one into me. He's not going to reload for a second time. So we'll make sure we get the kill. And we'll back out and there's the eagle and there's the at you see how far apart they are because the at is so slow so now we got to finish off the eagle got hit points to spare um so i'm willing to take a shot but i didn't realize here that i was gonna you know take one from the at as well so lucky bounce there as we get back into cover so now it's really up to the SU here to, to use the fact that I've got the AT distracted and, and go around, but he's not moving at this point in time. So um, luckily someone in the comments tells him to move. Um, I see the AT moving, so that gives me an opportunity to relocate. We'll get on opposite sides. And the SU has done good staying alive to this point, so hopefully he's not gonna make a mistake. Tracks him in place and uh, I, don't know why that didn't go in. I, it's this weirdest thing when you zoom out, your, your aim goes a little bit higher, but uh, we've got the AT distracted now. SU's closing in, and there we go. Big old finish. Um, that was a nice battle. As you can see, I tried to stay as far away, not get you know, one-on-one -on -one with anybody. Um, and I think the game just crashed. All right, guys, so we're back. Game crash. Sorry about that. Um, as you can see, 3,500 damage there. That was only good enough for a level two. So you guys are playing this tank really, really well. Um, obviously, that's um, almost double double the, the SU's damage there. So we really contributed to the win there. 1,100 XP on that battle. All right, guys, I wanted to make sure I got at least one battle in here where we were bottom tier, just so you could see what that looks like. Hey, Rockfield, uh, back in the rotation of maps. Um, typically, battles are fought here on the med, med and light side, um, but as you can see by their layout, they've got three heavies to our two, um, and our it looks like three of our guys are going off to the right. So. Um, one of the things that has worked very, very well for me in this tank, um, and, and in general, I, you know, to, to continue to win battles more frequently than not, 
um, is make sure that you are definitely well aware of, of where your teammates are, where your support is. Um, and, and I tried to pick out battles here where I never overexposed myself too, too much. So, you know, this is a typical spotting side, uh, but the VK, the Tiger, uh, I believe the SU have all come over here and I only have the lightweight there to support me. Their SU has the 152, um, not the 101, has gone into cap. Um, not a great strategy on this map. So. Uh, knowing that I am about to get pushed on by all of those heavies, um, half of my team has gone on the heavy route that, uh, you know, I decided to, to try to get out of here um, before it's too late. And kind of worried about that T-49, but as you can see, the Tiger, the T-26, they're, they're pushing around and into our spawn. So um i'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to make a run for it to a little bit more of a a safe location here great thing about a tank this size is we can hide behind a lot of things other tanks can't um dead carcass of the su perfect good cover for us um there's a tiger going around i've got the vk for support here so hoping that uh, i can use him for cover as well however not too uh, keen on the idea of trying to face the VK, enemy VK uh, frontally here. So the Tiger pops out, shows a side there, we get one into him. Um, and this is one of the things you'll notice throughout these battles that I show you here is the decision making of when to force that reload here. Probably did not make the proper choice there. Um, glad to see the lightweight coming around. I really wanted to get this T-49 out of the game. Um, and he's using his speed here to get the t49 to miss his shot obviously that tank does not have great accuracy we're gonna leave him on a one shot i'm like lightweight you've got this finish him off um but he just drives around obviously the tiger there trying to get to safety finally gets taken out um yeah not really any good shots for me uh so we're just gonna sit here and um and hopefully let our camo reset we've got a VK here, which is very much a, a tank that would cause me trouble for sure. Not sure how he spotted me there. I guess just that rear of the tank was enough to spot me. Um, try to get a shot into that SU. That thing's got some tricky, tricky armor. Um, I was thinking about circling all the way around, but now that the VK has dropped down, um, I figured I better get behind them. Hopefully they're focusing on our VK and while they're doing that I can get shots into their rear. Sure enough, there is the SU-101. Uh, two more shots into him. Now we'll aim onto the, the VK here and hopefully we can find some weak spot. Yeah, on the roof. Um, uh, trying to avoid our 54 lightweight. Looks like he's given up. Um, which is fine Looks like we had this battle in hand with the number of tanks we had here uh, The lightweight is leaving um, It's gonna give us some free damage on the VK. We'll get the kill And that's gonna wrap up this battle at 2648 damage um, but again really wanted to use this example of uh, using support knowing where your teammates are don't rush into trouble uh, save those hit points for the end of the game where you know you can trade um, safely and, and hopefully finish off the enemy team so 26 hundred uh, damage even at bottom tier still good enough there to to get us in um, top damage position so uh, fun little tank really looking forward to getting into and driving that uh, tier 8 and see how it handles as well so if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a comment. Um, what else you want me to do some full tank reviews on? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Of course, guys, have fun out there. Stay safe, get educated, not fingered. Little finger out.